<laughs> oh, color blindness. Um, Don't oh, go in there! Oh, shit! No! Oh, shit. No! <laughs> no! What the fuck was that? He went, he just walked in there. Dude. What's up, guys? You know, that's the typical YouTuber intro. You know, it's me. Little Billy. Just wanted to talk today about a little game called Unfortunate Spaceman. Where do I really begin though? It's so good. It's so good. I guess I'll explain the game first. So Unfortunate Spaceman is a co-op multiplayer game about shape-shifting space-based murder and deception. As a hapless yet brave spaceman employed by the, the company, you'll work diligently to defend and be rescued by a falling outpost, but not everyone around you is who they claim to be. Really this game is all about one game mode, and that's shapeshifter mode. The gunplay is okay. What really makes this game great is the atmosphere and the trust that you have to have. You know, you have to be a little investigator, if you will. Always keep your eyes out. You can't trust anyone. Being a monster is hard, man. You gotta stop multiple people. If you have a full lobby, it's up to 16 players, and you're, there's only one monster. You have to kill all these people. You gotta kill everyone or stall them long enough to where they don't do the objectives i first played this game uh with with my friend soiled you know soiled the one hiding behind the forklift there he introduced me to this game i was like it's free to play it looks trash just from playing the the, the training you know you can like shoot dummies little aliens um it wasn't great you know like i wasn't impressed right away but then we played the, the shapeshifter mode, like I, like I was saying. In the shapeshifter mode, it just gets to you. You know, you're playing with five, four or five of your friends, you get five or six people. One of you is the monster. You meet yourself in Discord, of course. Uh, there's nearby chat, so anyone nearby can hear your mic, but if you're too far away, you can't hear it. So, so you're just running around in the darkness, trying to collect these eggs that you seal up. You have to deliver the eggs to the drop-off point. The drop-off point's pretty dangerous, actually. Very, very dangerous. The, uh, the drop-off point is basically like a uh, like a rocket shuttle almost you put it in like a little seal the door closes and then it shoots off don't stand close to that thing okay it it kills okay you get you can push in this game a little little push little push button that kills you push someone in there they die they just get shot up and die if you saw old jimmy there at the beginning of the video he was one of the victims of this i i myself just delivering the egg kind of walked in too far kill myself it's, it's super easy. But that's what you gotta do. You gotta deliver at least, uh, I think it's like 10 or 12 eggs to leave. I think it depends on the amount of people. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it depends on the amount of people in the game. It's like 10 to 12 eggs you have to deliver to get out as a spaceman. As a monster, you wanna kill them, obviously. But yeah, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was pretty, I didn't think it was gonna be good. Getting a group of friends, five, six people. Once you become the monster, man, things get intense. When you're the monster, you gotta not only act normal, but you have to disrupt everything. And when, when you're friends with people for multiple years, you know, they, they know your voice, they know if you're not with them, who's with who, and when, what happens. One thing goes wrong, everyone knows it's you, you gotta, it just gets super hard at that point. The game does this pretty well, actually. Uh, the, there's a security bot, right? The security bot is just a bot that walks around, um, can type or can we'll say like hello act like a bot normally would you know stand still look around shoot at anything that's bad when you're the monster you can actually shape shift into the security bot if needed you can shape shift into anyone that's dead anyone you killed or even people you haven't killed um and it is very epic you know <laughs> very epic obviously you like being the monster it, 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 he's strong uh, but but balanced, you know. As the monster, you get certain tools. You can get your claws, obviously, the basic attack. You get the burrow, where you can go in the ground. You can't really. You get a little arm, but that's it. No one can see you. You just burrow in the ground, and you also have the ability to disguise yourself, like I said earlier. And uh, you can lay eggs as well. With these eggs, uh, it'll drop a little one foot off the ground thing, like a little monster, tiny baby monster, kind of doesn't move but if someone walks over it's like a like a face hugger it attaches your face like a face like a face hugger and if no one's around it can really kill them because the only way to, for it to get off of you is if someone else shoots you in the face so very good if people aren't grouping up together this game completely free i'm not sponsored but i would take the sponsorship but you know very good game 
very free, doesn't cost money. So let's put out the cons and pro, pros and cons. Put out, let's put out the pros and cons list. Price, uh, zero. Funness, 10, 10 funness. Replayability, uh, anyone, you know, monsters, you can be a monster. Perks in the game make it more uh, more fledged out. F fledged, is that, is that the right word? So that's four pros. Uh, cons, any mode that's not shapeshifter mode. The voice chat. The voice chat itself is great. The quality is, um, you know, better than Rocket League. I don't even know why there's voice chat in that game. Anyways, uh, voice chat in this game, quality's good. But you adjust the volume, you adjust the volume of the incoming, you know, chat, it kills your ears. I have raised it from 0.7, which is the default, to 0.8, and my ears were gone. They were destroyed. Just straight, just straight destroyed. Completely annihilated. You put it to 0.6, if someone's too loud, you can't hear anyone else. Only that loud person. The only complaint is that this game needs a way to adjust your mic's volume. Because as far as I know, I mean, I could be wrong, you can't do that. So adjust the volume, adjust your own mic's volume, sorry. Possibly make it to where you can adjust the volume per person if you can't do the, if you can't adjust your own mic's volume. But that's it, really. As far as I can tell, this game is pretty solid. Monster balance is good. It, if you get, if you're even with two people, you can pretty, you can kill the monster if you have decent weapons. Spacemen have a lot of tools at their end, uh, including the perks that you get. And sticking together is always a good strategy in this game. This game came out just almost a month ago, June 12th. I would highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Even just joining random servers in the server browser, uh, I had tons of fun. It gets pretty hectic. Uh, I would suggest having having you know getting friends and then you know getting them together if possible but the servers themselves even if you're just joining alone very friendly people mo like i'd say 99 percent of the people are very friendly i can see myself making a lot of a lot of new friends on here just the community itself pretty awesome but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it great game it's free play shapeshifter mode shapeshifter top notch keep it up uh, Jeff Keen and New Blood Interactive uh, make awesome cosmetics. I will definitely buy them. Thanks everyone for watching here. Hit that bell, ding ding. Hit that sub button, that little subscribe, sub sub subscribe. Hit that like if you liked it, and uh, see you later. Ha <laughs> ha!